Have you ever wondered why some Hollywood directors still make movies using film? And why not just make everything digitally? After all, today's digital cameras shoot everything in very high resolutions, providing very crisp and vibrant images. Messing with film seems antiquated by today's standards. So why is film still a thing? If you're watching this, chances are you know that Christopher Nolan is a huge advocate for shooting movies on film, specifically in 65mm IMAX film. However, he's not alone. Directors from movies such as The Hateful Eight, Nope, Wonder Woman 1985, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Jurassic World Dominion, and Death on the Nile all have portions of their movies shot with various types of film. But why is this? If you grew up in the early 2000s or earlier, you know the hassle of working with film cameras, specifically the disposable ones. And using those was on the easy end of things. You just aimed, clicked, took it to a store and had the film developed in an hour and hoped the pictures you took turned out well exposed and were framed properly. And that's just on the consumer end. For a movie like Oppenheimer, where there's lots of film, there are considerable logistics considerations, not to mention that film for large format cameras like IMAX 65mm cameras isn't cheap. Even before the cameras start rolling, directors and their directors of photography will need to choose which film stocks to use on set. Film for movies comes in a variety of sizes and capabilities to capture light from daytime film to tungsten and black and white film. These stocks will also have a predetermined amount of film grain and color balance. These can further be adjusted on set with a color filter on the lens. Directors and crew have a plethora of other considerations to worry about before the film starts rolling. For one thing, once film is used, there aren't any redos unlike digital where you can just delete a film or have an unlimited amount of disk space with which to store files. This puts added stress to ensure a scene goes right and not waste film. This isn't to say there aren't reshoots, but it's something to consider. As you'd expect, digital offers a plethora of advantages. Digital cameras are cheaper to use since there is no film to purchase, less likelihood of errors since there are less moving parts, can continuously roll versus the finite amount of film in a camera reel. There are less chances of exposure error of a scene being recorded and what was just recorded can be watched instantaneously on set to see if a retake is needed versus going through the hassle of getting film played back and developed. Probably the biggest reason why many directors choose film though is because many of them feel film offers an aesthetic quality that digital cameras cannot capture, with the look not being accurately reproduced on computers just yet. Directors like Christopher Nolan and Quentin Tarantino have stated they find the look of film to have a unique look, texture, and feel, and is more visually appealing than digital. Both are very vocal advocates of making movies on film. Film also has an added benefit of being able to capture a very wide dynamic range, which allows for more detail in highlights and shadows of images. To learn more about dynamic range and wide color gamut, check out this video I made with Sony after this one. The other reason why directors choose film is for the workflow process. While digital can capture around a 90% approximation of film, digital requires a lot of work in post-production to recreate the look of film, whereas film can capture the intended look right out of the box by and large. Finally, the type of camera used can help set the mood for a movie. Movies such as John Wick Chapter 4 or Top Gun Maverick are shot entirely with digital cameras. The sharp edges and color-saturated image of these movies help give them a modern feel. Whereas movies shot on film, like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Dunkirk, or Zack Snyder's Justice League, are shot almost entirely, if not entirely, on film and help give their stories a time period fantasy feel. While directors may choose to use film on set, the film reels must still be converted to a digital file for editing purposes, regardless. Film reels are scanned and color graded by third-party companies, and because of the amount of data contained inside a film, they can take up a tremendous amount of disk space. However, this level of raw footage gives directors greater ability to achieve their desired look. These large files are usually converted into DPX lossless files with around 24 minutes of 35mm footage taking up around 1 terabyte of disk space. Upon completion of editing, the movies are exported onto hard drives for playback at theaters or converted back to film for what is called a film out, which is pretty standard for any Nolan or Tarantino film. 
So while you can make a movie entirely with digital cameras, it's hard to dispute that movies such as Dunkirk or The Dark Knight or A Quiet Place would feel the same if they had been shot digital. Let me know your thoughts on digital versus film cameras in the comments below. This is Movie University, education and cinema.